Welcome to Miss Cafe. Today we'll be talking about the legendary dance duo Lay Twins. Let's get into it. Laurent, Larry. From the streets of Paris to the world's grandest stages, Lay Twins have redefined dance, making a great impact in the industry. Prepare to embark on a mesmerizing journey that follows the extraordinary lives of two brothers who, through the language of dance, have transcended all limitations to become global icons. We'll delve into their early years, their illustrious career, along with a touch on both their notable achievements and occasional controversies, not to forget their distinctive sense of style. Now let's take a step back in time to delve into their early years. Sarcelles, a suburb in the northern suburbs of Paris, France, was where the journey of Laurent and Larry Bourgeois, known to the world as Les Twins, began. Laurent and Larry Bourgeois were born on December 6, 1988, the youngest of nine siblings, and coming from a Caribbean background, their mother exposed them to a diverse range of music, from hip-hop and rap to classical and African music. This eclectic musical upbringing would later inform their unique dance style, blending various genres and rhythms. According to the twins, when you're from Guadalupe, you just know how to dance. End quote. Their father left the family when they were very young, leaving their mother to raise nine children on her own. Raising a large family as a single parent would have undoubtedly posed financial and emotional challenges a Herculean task that she approached with unwavering determination. Laurent and Larry navigated a tumultuous childhood characterized by emotional and verbal mistreatment, as well as a lack of care from their older siblings. These difficulties were further intensified by the traumatic encounters Larry had with their father. Given these shared experiences, it would be beneficial for the brothers to consider seeking therapy. Such a step could provide them with the necessary tools to navigate their relationships in a more wholesome and constructive manner. Despite facing numerous challenges, Lauren and Larry Bourgeois found solace and inspiration in dance. From a very young age, they started emulating their older siblings' dance moves, all while being captivated by the comedic dance sequences and TV shows by Will Smith and Jim Carrey. They seamlessly incorporated these influences into their own dance routines, which eventually ignited a profound passion for the art form. Over time, they honed their skills through practice, dedication, and working with their dance coach, a biboki better known as Playmo or the coach. Playmo is a co-founder of the France-based dance school called COSEC. Playmo describes meeting Laurent and Larry. I used to hang out with their older brothers and sisters, who are from my generation. At that time, I was already teaching at Cossack, and they brought them to me around the age of 12 or 13. They were moving more than dancing, but they already had something. I'm sure that even without me, they'd have succeeded in dance, only maybe in a different way. I shaped them from scratch and was able to smooth out the rough edges. Being close to their older brothers and sisters helped to build trust with them, and I was free to be as hard as I had to be with them to make them work. End quote. Lauren played a pivotal role in reshaping the course of their lives when he persuaded his twin brother Larry to take a bold step and leave his job as a chef to fully commit to their shared passion for dancing. To showcase their skills and earn some money, Les Twins started performing on the streets of Paris. They would often dance at popular tourist spots and in subway stations, attracting attention with their incredible talent and charismatic performances. This period was both a struggle and a crucial part of their journey, as it forced them to refine their skills and develop a stage presence that would serve them well in the future. 
As their skills developed, Les Twins ventured into the competitive dance scene of Paris. They gained recognition in the dance community through street battles and competitions. They competed in various dance battles in France and around the world, which helped them establish their reputation as exceptional dancers. Following the departure of the original founders of the Criminals Crew, Laurent and Larry assumed a mentoring role, actively contributing to talent development and facilitating increased exposure for other members through their extensive network and connections. In the ensuing years, they dedicated themselves to the world of hip hop, participating in street battles and various competitive events. A significant turning point in their career came in 2008 when they auditioned for the French talent show Incroyable Talent, France's equivalent to America's Got Talent. They went on to the finals in which they earned sixth place, then broke out in the US two years later when a video of their world of dance performance in San Diego went viral. Yak Films, a multimedia production company dedicated to championing the vibrant and dynamic world of street dance culture, also played a significant role in helping to popularize Les Twins by featuring their performances in their videos. These videos showcased Laurent and Larry's unique style, charisma, impeccable synchronization, and innovative choreography helping them to gain a massive online following and international recognition in the dance community. The Bourgeois brothers made the life-changing decision to embark on their journey to the United States upon meeting Alicia Keys. Larry passionately recounted the unforgettable night when they first crossed paths with the renowned singer, a moment that would become the catalyst for their decision to travel to the United States. One might we showed up and danced on the champs, Elise's. Alicia Keys saw us and we performed with her the next day in Paris. That's how it started. Then we saved up and flew to New York and danced in Times Square, which is where Jay-Z and Beyonce spotted us and we danced on her world tour, end quote. Their extraordinary talent and distinctive style have made them sought after performers and creative partners for a wide range of artists. Perhaps one of their most famous collaborations is with global superstar, the Queen Bee herself, Beyoncé. Following their street performances in Paris, Les Twins quickly transitioned to the global stage, performing alongside Beyoncé as the sole male dancers during her, the Mrs. Carter Show World Tour. Their incredible talent led to them becoming integral parts of two consecutive world tours with Beyoncé. Their journey continued as they dazzled audiences worldwide on the O-Tour alongside Jay-Z and Beyonce. In 2017, amidst their whirlwind touring schedule, they achieved a remarkable feat by winning the inaugural season one of the World of Dance competition. This victory not only catapulted them to international stardom, but also cemented their position as one of the preeminent dance acts in the world. They've also worked with legendary rapper, singer, producer Missy Elliott. Beyond the music industry, Les Twins have worked with Cirque du Soleil, one of the world's most renowned circus and entertainment companies. They were featured in Cirque du Soleil's show Michael Jackson won in Las Vegas, paying tribute to the legendary king of pop. They once again joined Beyonce on her most recent Renaissance World Tour, contributing their exceptional dance talents to create an unforgettable experience for audiences worldwide. Now let's break down their style. Les Twins often incorporate streetwear, high fashion, and personal flair that reflects their individual personalities and the dynamic nature of their performances. Many dancers and dance enthusiasts look up to them for inspiration, both in terms of dance moves and style. The duo has graced the runways of prestigious fashion brands and even collaborated with Nike's Jordan brand to create their own line of sneakers. Les Twins fashion and style can be characterized as a fusion of streetwear, high fashion, and individual expression. Their ability to blend various fashion elements while maintaining their distinct personalities has made them style icons in the dance world and beyond. Their unique approach to fashion 
reflects their creativity and innovation in the world of dance, making them trendsetters in both fields. They have also ventured into the world of film, demonstrating their versatility as artists by making appearances in movies like Men in Black International and Cats. Regarding their hobbies, Laurent and Larry enjoy playing video games and basketball. The duo have actively engaged in philanthropic endeavors and performances, leveraging their exceptional talent and widespread appeal to generate funds for a range of noble causes. Their contributions encompass captivating performances at benefit concerts and galas aimed at bolstering the efforts of charitable organizations. One of their noteworthy charity initiatives is the Mental Health Tour, conducted in collaboration with the Kids Right Network. The primary goal of the tour was to promote mental health awareness, utilizing dance as a valuable tool to effectively address and navigate mental health challenges. Now, let's move on to their romantic relationships. Lorraine and Larry are rumored to struggle with fidelity, maintaining connections with individuals across various geographic regions. It is indeed a puzzling contradiction that, having been raised by a single mother and having sisters, they have first-hand knowledge of the emotional turmoil and repercussions of infidelity yet engage in similar behavior. It raises questions about how one can profess love and respect for the women in their own family while simultaneously showing disrespect to the women with whom they are in relationships. It's disheartening to observe this cycle perpetuating itself as they have first-hand experience of the pain and challenges their mother endured due to infidelity. It seems that simply witnessing their mother's anguish and struggles may not always suffice to break the cycle. While they are celebrated in the dance community and have achieved significant success, their careers have not been without controversy. Here are some controversies associated with the duo. One such dispute arose with the dancer fiction who proposed a dance battle involving French dancers, including Laurent and Larry. The brothers, however, vehemently opposed the idea. Another incident unfolded when Larry confronted dancer Green Tech, slapping him during a dance competition in response to Green Tech's disrespectful demeanor towards the bourgeois brothers. Next in this tale of conflicts was a feud with Reggie, a member of their dance team, the Criminals Crew. Larry ignited significant drama in recent years, bewildering fans with indirect jabs at Reggie, all the while withholding the origin of their disagreement. This issue was first brought to the public's attention by Larry, and it quickly escalated into a display of immaturity from both parties, ultimately leading to the most significant controversy of all the Les Twins' expulsion from the very group they had helped make popular, the Criminals' Crew. This development has severed the once strong bond within the Criminals' dance team, causing tensions not only between the brothers and their fellow dancers, but even with individuals like Rubix, who has been a part of their lives since he was a five-year-old. The separation is marked by a surprising public rift. Currently, Less twins have chosen to part ways with the criminals' crew. Their decision to accept this expulsion seems to hint at an internal disagreement they may eventually choose to explain. This twist is all the more remarkable, considering the dedication and effort they invested in leading the team for many years. The question remains, will Less twins shed light on the circumstances behind this dramatic split and whether they will create their own dance crew in the future. While there might have been additional events transpiring behind the scenes, the exact details remain undisclosed to the public. Whatever their issues are, I hope they resolve it amicable and get back to being family again with the rest of the criminals' crew, especially considering their close bond with Rubix, who is akin to their little brother, Laurent and Larry made a significant investment in a dance school and studio known as Justy de Boot in collaboration with their friend and fellow dancer, Bruce Ikanji. It's truly heartwarming to see them embark on this venture, establishing a legacy that goes beyond personal fame. 
They are now creating a space for aspiring dancers to chase their dreams and offering mentorship and resources to help turn those dreams into reality. Whether they dance individually or together, they are phenomenal. From their humble beginnings on the streets of Sorcelles to performing with legends like Beyonce, they've shown us that with passion, determination, and an unwavering bond, any dream is within reach. The journey reminds us that even in the face of adversity, we can find our true calling and make our mark on the world. And so, as we conclude this chapter of Les Twins' incredible story, we're reminded that dance is not just movement. It's an expression of the soul. It's a testament to the power of art, love, and the extraordinary connection that two brothers share. Thank you for joining us on this inspiring journey through the lives of Laurent and Larry Bourgeois. As they continue to dance through life, may their story serve as a reminder that dreams are meant to be pursued and passions are meant to be celebrated. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep dancing, keep dreaming, and keep believing.